For this tutorial, we're going to show you one of the coolest effects for any website plugin that I've seen. And we're back with the Square Websites Chrome extension, and we've got to make sure it's enabled here. So if it's showing a flashing button saying enable extension, make sure you click on that. If you haven't got to this part yet and you haven't installed it, I've created and uploaded a video on our Website Builders YouTube channel to get you started with this Chrome extension. But now we're ready to jump in and start using it. With the Chrome extension activated, we can see the pull-out menu here. It says it's a test feature and it may not work as you expect. That might scare the hell out of you. I can understand why it's put in as a disclaimer. Nothing has happened that's been terminal for me. And if in doubt, you could always add a test page to your Squarespace site. And I've got an example here of a, just a demo page. That's not in the menu system. It's not visible by Google. So I can just play around with this. Think of it as a web design playground for your Squarespace site. So that means I'm not messing up an important page that's live on my site by adding sections. First of all, though, before we use the Chrome extension, I'm going to show you what you can now do within Squarespace, just in case you haven't seen this feature. We can add a section. And we've now have the option for saved sections for website sections that we've saved as favorites. If I wanted to add a join our mailing list option to the bottom of the page, I can certainly do that. Save it, exit it, and it should link it up seamlessly. But that allows us to copy sections from one page on Squarespace and bring them in on others. And then once they're in place, this is where we can change things like the colors so they all stand out and also add dividers. Just get the settings right there so it matches. That creates a striped effect going through our site. So far, so good. Don't need the Chrome extension for any of that because it's all built into the system. But now I'm gonna show you our Squarespace template builder and show him why these two tools together work wonderfully. But you could substitute Squareforge with any website you've already built on Squarespace where you want to take a section design and bring it into your new site. Let's have a look at maybe some of the content blocks. And I'm gonna look at, in fact, I'm gonna to go to signposts and cards. These card designs take quite some time to put together. And so in Swiss Forge, I have done all of the work to put this together for you. What happens is upon purchase in Swiss Forge, I will give you a copy of this tool that you can replicate as many times as you want. You use this as a starting point for your site, or if you're looking to retrofit designs on websites that are already live, or you don't want to start with the Swiss Forge template builder, you can instead use the Chrome extension to copy any section on any Squarespace 7.1 site. Head over to your new site, don't click on edit because the menu will disappear as soon as we edit the page. But without needing to click on edit, we can insert the section wherever we want. It'll take a minute to bring those assets across. And if we just head back here, we can see that these are just placeholder images at the moment. But now we can see it's updated to this site. I don't know why it showed the line there, but as we can see, when we clicked into it, that's now structurally correct. And I don't know about you, but I'm just blown away by how efficient this is. Okay. I'm blowing my own trumpet with our own tool at Squareforge, but combining it with this Chrome extension and what you're looking at is something like $450 for the first year for both tools. Or if you join our coaching community over at school, you can get access to Squareforge inclusive within that for $97 a month. Plus get the Chrome extension on an annual plan and you have the ultimate Squarespace building tool, allowing you to bring features across from multiple sites, access advanced features and get up and running. Of course, you can build these layouts yourself. And I often recommend for those who don't have the budget to purchase Squareforge, go on here and steal any of these designs. I'm creating tutorials showing how to build card layouts like this, how to get them to work on both desktop and mobile. So you don't end up with a jumbled mess on mobile view. And if you are time rich and catch score at the moment, you can do all of that. Then only need to buy the pro version of the Chrome extension tool to bring those designs. Once you've created them once into a new Squarespace site, as we can see now, it's already picked up the colors. If we go into edit section, we can add our divider. So it matches the flow of the site. And this is where we can double click, replace, and now change these placeholder swatches with real images. Let's go and pick some examples. We'll go with this one here. 
add this image and put that into the center because the background of the image is the same as the background of the section. I'm just going to change the section background in this case. I'm being really fussy now. Yeah, we'll go with white. But what we might have to do now is just change the the color settings and the stroke color. So it's a little bit of housekeeping, but we now have got options to work with. We can either go for this type of design, or we can go with this type of design, see which one works best, and then take it from there. But that's what I wanted to show you today. We can rinse and repeat this process. So if I go with a two column signpost design, and we're going to go with this one here. Once again, we're just going to copy that section, head over to our site, save and exit the editor mode, and then add the section wherever we choose. What you'll find is it usually takes longer to add a section in than it does to take a snapshot from the other site, but that only took about four to five seconds. And now we've got that feature in place. At this point, we can edit this section, change the colors, background mode. If it doesn't update straight away, just press save. Squarespace just needs a little bit of a nudge or a kick to get that working. And once more, let's add a divider below. So edit section. This is a list section in Squarespace. The approach might be slightly different. Once again, I might need to press save. When bringing lists across via this Chrome extension, I do notice sometimes you just need to give it a little bit of a jolt. And finally, let's change this mailing list option to a silver backdrop. We'll go with light one. And now we have our new page. It makes no sense whatsoever. And I wouldn't go for this format with centrally aligned text alongside these, but this is where you can start editing each individual section to get it designed as you want. But at this point, I would normally disable the extension so I don't see that pop-up appearing. I might just take a minute or two just to refresh the page. And from here, I can start going about my work editing the section. For example, if I go to the edit content, design here, we can align that to the left, go to size and spacing, go with a wider content layout so that matches with the layout of our page. Save that, exit it. Give it a quick refresh. And this is how our new page is looking on desktop. The fact that that one block is different colors than the others is bugging me, but I've got to let it go for this case of this demo. And now let's have a look at it on mobile view. And because we used pre-designed layouts in SquareForge for this section, for example, and this card area, it's already designed and ready to go for mobile. So we might want to make one or two tweaks. For example, an extra line here, the stroke underneath the divider probably isn't needed. And this header section needs a little bit of work. Let's just fix this to wrap up. And there we go. A new page built in no time using layouts from a completely different Squarespace site. The only caveat, the only thing that you need to know is that you will need admin access to both sites for this tool to work. So you can't just go and grab a competitor's Squarespace site and copy sections, which is probably a good thing for your own karma. Have you been using either of these tools? And if so, do you use it in a slightly different way to me? I really want to find out. Otherwise, I'm going to be coming back with loads more tutorials on this Chrome extension. You can quote me on that. Catch you next time.